Hi, I'm Becky Clerkin, the Library Director here at Great Bay Community College, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the library space and resources and services. So the first thing that I want you to know is that we are not a traditional library where you need to come in and be super quiet and can only whisper and the librarians will shush you. None of us took shushing class. So what does that mean? Well, we encourage you to come in as part of a group if you're working on a group project or if you are looking to connect and socialize with people that you're in class with to get to know people here at the college, this is a great place to be able to do that. Now, if you're somebody that does need quiet to be able to focus and you come into the library and it's noisy, we do have two quiet study rooms that you can feel free to use. We have two hammocks in the library, so if you are a little tired and you need a nap, you can feel free to come in and use the hammocks. We have monthly activities set up in the front of the library that are intended as stress busters and those change all the time. So um, you might find a puzzle, you might find origami, there's all kinds of things. So, so you can stop by if you're feeling a little stressed and you just need some downtime. We always have that set up at the front part of the library. And then in terms of creativity, we have a maker space. We've got a 3D printer, we've got two Cricut die cut machines, and we've got a couple sewing machines. So you can feel free to come in and use those. So those are sort of the um, more unusual things. In terms of materials, we definitely have books and movies that you can physically check out of the library, but a lot of our resources are electronic. So if you go to the library's webpage, which is greatbay.edu slash library, there is a menu on the right hand side and you can click there to see what kinds of articles you have access to through our databases, what kinds of ebooks or electronic books you have access to, what kinds of streaming videos you have access to. Um, so uh, we have a lot of content electronically that you have access to 24-7 remotely. Um, you will log in with your easy login username and password. So if you're not a student with us yet, you're not able to get into that. But as soon as you're registered, you get the information that you need to log into those. So those are sort of the overview of resources. In terms of supports, there are two of us librarians that are here to help you and to be part of your success. So so I hope you stop by the library and please let us know if you have any ideas of things that will make the space even better for you. Thank you.